1995 and you're stuck at home. Where do you go to find information? An all-night library? A friend's encyclopedia? If you answered the internet, that would have worked if you were ahead of the curve and had access. But believe it or not, there was one clear answer to this question, and that was in Carter 95. So let's take a look. Let there be justice for all. Let there be peace for all. It's one small step for man. You don't understand. Willie was a salesman. Say simply, very simply, with hope, good morning. Encarta was essentially a digital encyclopedia on CD-ROM. This wasn't an entirely new concept, and Encarta itself had been around since 1993. It certainly wasn't the first, but being developed by Microsoft meant it eventually got packaged with most new Windows 95 equipped computer purchases. This ensured it found its way into most computer-owning homes in the mid-90s. It was totally mind-blowing to have this much information at the click of a button, even if the app itself was just basically today's equivalent of a really cool website. The level of media interactivity was really next level at the time, including videos, audio, photos, maps, interactive charts, and even a surprisingly good educational game called Mind Maze, which we'll get to shortly. In terms of video, not every article had one, you'd pretty much have to just hope that the topic was popular enough to have some video content. But the other way to view all videos, and other multimedia for that matter, is to use the media browser, which had all such content easily searchable. It wasn't quite YouTube, but you could spend a fair bit amount of time just browsing aimlessly looking for random videos. Pretty much all of the photos had captions attached. It's pretty funny going back and reading some of the predictions these articles had for the future. In terms of the maps, you could zoom around the globe and hyperlink to slightly more detailed versions of maps which then had hyperlinks to link to articles about the map's content. It wasn't quite Google Maps just yet, but it was definitely cutting edge for its day. The interactive charts were really cool, similar to what you'd see on a wall at a museum, except you could click on a particular event and be taken to articles based on it. You also had a smaller number of interactive mini-apps such as this one, that let you alter the moon's orbit and see what would happen. Or there was this one, which let you explore fractals. One of the extra handy search options was this time search function, which let you search for articles based on the date of the topic matter. Alrighty, so let's check out Mind Maze. And there's our castle, which contains the maze, and we've got this jester inviting us in. Uh, and you can save a profile, but we'll just continue as tourists for the time being to enter the maze. And essentially you have to answer questions uh, to continue on to the next room. And all the questions are sourced from Encarta itself. Uh, you can actually focus on certain areas of interest down here. Um, we'll stick to all areas for the time being. Uh, the goal is to hit this 20,000 point barrier um, and to progress through each levels of the maze, sort of get to this box here. Uh, you've also got these torches that reveal the path briefly, so we'll do that in a bit. But uh, yeah, let's kick it off uh, and play along at home. Uh, we've also got these characters in each of the rooms. And they basically provide comedic commentary. And they're quite annoyed that they're in the maze as well, so they're stuck in there. Uh, 
Uh. Yeah, that was a guess. How'd you do at home? And the quicker you answer, um, the more points you get. So the clock sort of ticks down. We might just reveal the path here to see which way we need to go. Okay, so it's definitely the straight path is the way to go. Um, rather than right. So let's continue with that. And that's our torch has been extinguished. I'm just going to uh, turn the music on, which is the all important part of this game. Feels a bit empty without it. Uh. I was going to guess saxophone there. So click on any of these art pieces and be taken to articles or sections of articles in the actual encyclopedia, which is pretty cool. easy for you American viewers. I just guessed that there. Okay. Again, another guess on a bit of a streak here. This guy's just hanging there upside down. What's he got to say? I'm on an easy run of questions here. Normally they are quite difficult. South Atlantic states of the United States. Uh, I'm going to fail here. So, uh, Pennsylvania. Oops. I'm sure there were some people shouting at the screen just then. Okay, we're getting close to our end goal here. Pretty quick round. I think. Okay, so you can continue up the stairs. Um, so if we do that, but that's pretty much the gist of Mind Maze. How'd you do at home? Good, I hope. The levels kept going until you reached 20,000 points, but there you have it. Encarta 95 was an era-defining application. Encarta actually continued making CD-ROM editions into the late 90s before turning to an online web-based subscription model. 
It eventually shut down in 2009. But anyway, in researching this video, I've learned that Mind Maze was actually completely different in 93 and 94 with more of an adventure element. I think I'll check that out in a future video. Thanks for watching.